Hi, I want to show you this bifiler uh, coil that Tesla made. And I just want to show you, I have it hooked up right now to 19 volts and uh, two and a half amps. And just to show you what it does, small pulse in there because it hasn't been rectified at all uh, through this little uh, DC thing here. So we're getting the pulse in it, which is good, exactly what I want. Okay, both sides, north and south of the magnet. Here's the magnets we're using in our gravity flyer. And unfortunately, they're pulled from this side to this side and not from this side to this side. So you put it on here and you can barely see it moving. You put it on your hand and you now see it. So we need a little distance here between one and the other. Now this is a very small thing. Okay, we can flip this over, okay, to the other side of the coil. You can see it jumping here. Jumping on that side a little bit, that side. So we're okay north and south on this one, okay, to do the same thing. It doesn't fall off my finger as it jumps. Now. That's just with the pulsed one. Now, non-pulsed, let's go ahead and unhook this. We'll hook up a higher power source. Okay, make sure it's on zero so I don't zap myself. Now what we're going to see is we're going to get a little higher jump out of one side and it absolutely will hate the other side. Okay, on this magnet here, immediately jump to the other side. This side just hangs up. This side immediately jumps back to the other. So let's look at this one. You hit it, you jumped it, hit it again, stop one. So right there, that's what we want. So, here's the thing. I want the higher amps and higher voltage out of this, but I want the pulse out of this. So here's what we got. Here's what I'm going to try, and hopefully this is going to work. This is out of a starter for a Ford, okay? Just a switch. Basically, put in the hot side here, and hot side going out to here, okay? And we're going to hit it with a lot of voltage. I'm going to try to hook up this right here to it. Okay. Now this works by this being 12 volt here across those two. And you, it's basically a switch. As soon as the switch is pulled, this voltage goes through here. Okay. Now, because I want the pulse and I don't want a straight shot on this coil, we're going to hook in one of these here. And we're just going to use a PWM signal, okay? This goes 12 volts, so I'm going to hook in a 12 volt power source, okay? And I'm simply just going to pulse this, okay? So I want to turn the switch on and off, on and off, really fast, okay? To get this to make a higher voltage come out, okay? Like this, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Now, if that doesn't work, okay, and we don't get a high enough jump, the next step is I need to do a capacitor bank so I can directly drop in a ton of power at once. The reason I'm doing this whole thing, okay, is because I am going to take this coil and I'm going to turn the magnets back around, okay, but this coil is going directly under this, okay. The reason for that, okay, is very simple, okay, put it right, right in there, okay. I want this whole bottom disc to jump. Pulse it. I want to pulse this, okay? Just like that, okay? Maybe even faster. I want this to start taking that magnetic field here and jumping it up and down, okay? Because right now, nobody's getting any lift. I'm telling you right now, if I do a direct dump into this with a massive voltage, okay, I'm going to get what I want. But if I take this and run it at a consistent voltage, 
I'll get a little jump on here, just like this, okay? It's all basically I'm looking for, okay? Then I'll put another coil right here, or a pulse coil, and I can get a massive jump out of that one. So it should, in theory, hang and then jump. So we're going to find out if it works. By the way, on my last experiment, I had uh, metal bolts. Okay, as you can probably see now, uh, when you take a look at it, I've replaced them all with nylon. I was having arcing onto the motor. Under here, I had a little hole. It was also arcing onto the frame. Okay, here. So all that got replaced. I don't know if you can see it in the center there. Let me get a good view on it. Right there in the center. I have put some construction adhesive over the top so all those screws are also cut off so any high voltage that runs in here won't run into my motors anymore. But first we're going to try this coil because I do not think in any way that that high voltage was any more than frequency and I think the high voltage has to come out of a coil like this and if it works then I'll put it between the two plates right there when I'm done and we'll see if this sucker lifts then. Alright thanks guys.